Hi everyone, uh, in this video we'll see how to install LaTeX in your uh, Linux system. I have actually uh, Pop! OS installed in my computer. Um, it's actually is based on uh, Ubuntu 20.04 I guess. Uh, which means uh, any version, any uh, Debian version which is derived from Ubuntu, uh, for them uh, this method is going to work. Which means for Ubuntu it's going to work. In fact, any Linux system it's going to work better. Uh, now uh, let's start with that so to install latex in your laptop or uh, pc what you have to do is uh, you have to install two things one is the compiler the other one is the um, interpreter or an ide uh, so what we have chosen here is uh, to install tech live here which is very stable and uh, um, nice compiler uh, so far available in uh, uh, available for linux as well as windows and uh, mac so the way you install is, uh, of course, couple of ways to install it. One of them is uh, uh, TechLive full, which is going to install all the packages. The other one is uh, installing the packages in um, in uh, in the uh, in the necessary basis that whatever you want, uh, you can install it. Uh, so actually, TechLive works uh, is a slightly different, unlike the uh, MyTech or uh, MacTech. Uh, what's going to happen here in TechLive is it's going to install bunch of the packages together or bunch of the softwares together uh, as a small package. So for example here you see that uh, the installation of TechLive has uh, many uh, packages. For example uh, you have a, a TechLive uh, base, so TechLive LaTeX base which is going to install only the, I'm sorry over here, TechLive base which is going to install very basic things like article and um, very uh, very basic needs which you might not be which is not enough and also tech life latex base which is having a little bit extra uh, and then uh, we have a little bit uh, tech life uh, latex uh, recommended which has uh, some more uh, packages like uh, ams math etc etc so we want to know what is the difference between uh, these packages and how much our space is going to occupy all of them i will link it to a uh, uh, text stock exchange uh, question over here the difference between tech live packages uh, here uh, uh, one of them have uh, actually very clearly answered uh, actually, of course it's it's actually for 2017 but it should work pretty much uh, similar to this size itself its size has not been changed uh, drastically so for example here these are the details of the packages so as i said uh, you can install uh, these packages one by one as per your needs or you can install the last package called TechLive Full, which is going to, of course, download around uh, 3 GP, uh, but it's going to extract it around uh, 5.5 GP, something like that. Uh, but what we are going to do is, we are not going to install the complete version, which is not required for us. Even if you install these packages one by one, it's not going to cost more than a GP. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to install these packages one by one. Uh, in fact, not everything. Uh, I'm going to tell you an easy way to do that. Uh, skip it so for example here you can install this uh, tech live which is going to uh, install uh, latex recommended fonts recommended tech live latex base and the like, tech live base so this is pretty much everything that you need it i'm also going to install something called tech live uh, latex extra which is going to install some extra packages like beamer all of them um, so that's that's the thing that we are going to do it i'm also going to install something called tech live science which is going to help us to write some si units and uh, um, i think uh, that 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 it's only it contains uh, something else as well i'm not sure right now uh, you can you can search in the google that what this uh, text live uh, science contains let's get started so let's uh, open a terminal uh, first actually let's start with uh, uh, updating the packages current packages so sudo app get update so that's it uh, you type your password let me pull it up the system should be first of all up to date so now let's uh, type this command uh, in fact you can pretty much everything you can copy and paste it so i'm going to just app get install tech live so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in my terminal along with sudo right click paste now if you install it uh, as i have mentioned here it's going to of course take up around 251 mb which means it's going to install uh, 
these four recommended packages so i'm going to give s and i'm going to wait for this installation to be finished of course uh, depends on your uh, internet connection speed it's going to take up some time uh, so wait for a moment let it finish the installation Yeah, I think it's pretty much quick. First, this tech live, uh, the servers are very good. The binaries are uh, very well optimized. So. You should be of course installing faster than the tech live in windows uh, so if you start installing tech live in windows i'm sure it's going to, it should take an hour to install it but in uh, linux it's pretty much fast fast very fast I will give the comments in the comment box, uh, uh, sorry, in the um, description down that what are the comments that you have to run it. Um, so you can quickly run that. <coughs> Yeah, that's done. So I also wanted to install Tech Live LaTeX Extra. So I'm going to copy that package. Copy this and then uh, sudo app get um, install. Then copy that package name. I'm sorry, paste that package name. So having the extra closing parenthesis. So I'll I'll delete that now again it's going to take uh, 216 more MB so let me give s for that as well if some uh, packages are broken then only you can install it otherwise you can still live with just tech live which is uh, going to serve for very basic things very basic needs not very basic need actually it's going to serve a good one um, but unlike uh, unless you need a, a great document to be written in tech live you don't need many packages to be installed um, so for a small article or a even thesis typing uh, tech live is just enough you don't need to install tech live latex extra i'm sure about it uh, the next package which i'm actually trying to install is something called tech live science as i have mentioned uh, it is used for uh, actually it has some bunch of packages uh, which is something like SI units etc. Uh, if you are an education person, if you are writing scientific articles uh, and you are using SI units or etc. then you might need that packages as well. So I would suggest that you install Tech Live Science as well. Let me wait for this uh, Tech Live LaTeX Extra to finish. Yeah, it's done actually.
yeah that's done so let's uh, install one more thing so sudo um, let me clear the page now so sudo app get install tech live science it's going to take up another 100 mb that's fine not big deal if you don't want to go through all of them slowly one by one uh, and if you are a very beginner then you can just start with tech life full so just going to install everything uh, maybe after some time once you get hold on the tech later uh, latex etc you can un uninstall the tech live at any time and then uh, install the necessary packages only mm -hmm. so, while you are starting install everything that's my suggestion let's wait for this also to finish You can see that so this is a tech live latex extra this has all of the packages which we have installed earlier as well as uh, it has some science papers so all of them yeah that's done right now let's uh, now check the tech version over there um, so that we'll get the clarity about whether we have installed all of them now look at that the tech version source it's 3.1.14 which is actually coming from tech live 2020 that's the latest uh, right now updated in uh, ubuntu's repositories um, actually right now 2021 is going on but since uh, this is actually the lts version it's still with the 2020 i don't think so it's going to change for the couple of years but i'm pretty much sure that ubuntu uh after uh, tech live 2020 is uh, uh, is perfectly sufficient or uh, perfectly uh, efficient enough to work with um, now i now we have confirmed that the tech live is installed now we have to install the ide so the ide is of course we have multiple options uh, now what i use is something called tech studio which i have here i'll give you the link to download this uh, since we have uh, since i'm using debian version what we can do is we can just uh, uh, go ahead and download the Debian portion, uh, Debian uh, file under the Linux topic over here. If you are using Ubuntu, just go ahead and download this. Now, since I am having the uh, Pop OS, actually Pop OS comes with something called a Pop Shop. So if you search Tech Studio in the Pop Shop, it appears here. You have uh, two versions over here, Flathub and Ubuntu, um, Debian version. So now I am installing the Debian version. So if you are installing a flat pack, that's not much difference. So, but uh, people claims that uh, that might have some issues, flat have, but you might get the updated version. Uh, but the Ubuntu Debian version is a stable one. So I'm going to install the Debian version over here. So it's going to take up 25 MB in my computer. So I'm going to install that as well. Obviously, it requires my authentication. So let me give the password. Should be another uh, quick install let's wait for that to finish Yeah, now that's done now i can open this uh, of course either using my uh, ubuntu's launcher using text studio or i can use it from here itself probably i will click on this and open that for the first time obviously any linux system will take up some time to open the software uh, otherwise uh, it's pretty quick so now we have the text studio opened over here um, so this is how it looks now let me just go ahead file and probably i'll take one template over there and then try to run that so let's take a and default article now that's an article 
now let me save this file first file save let me save it in the desktop let me create a new folder as you have to do it for every single document here so test now test dot tech that's the way you save the tech file now if you compile this good it shows a process exitor normally if you'd like to see the pdf you can of course click on this button over there that should show the pdf and that's there so now you can also type the title here so how to install latex in linux now if i compile this that should give me the title all right that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video with uh, another content thanks a lot for watching please subscribe to the channel if you are uh, finding this content is very useful thank you so much